you're watching an SEO content machine next tutorial video. Today we're going to cover the usage of the email post tool. How this differs from the upload post tool is where the upload post tool only supports WordPress and that was posting via XML RPC or the Johnson API. You now have another method of getting your posts online which is to email them in. So both WordPress and even Blogger have an inbox that you can send an email to and any emails that are sent to that address will result in your post being uploaded to your blog remotely. So to use the email poster, the first thing we need to do is obviously create a new task. At the very top is your first and most important setting, which is your SMTP server, or the server which you're going to use to send your emails to. Now you're going to use the server which is provided by your home or your email service. If you don't have access to neither of those, you most likely have a Gmail account. You can also use a Gmail SMTP server and you're going to need three settings for you to get the SMTP server running, which is you need the address of your server, which also includes the port. You also need the username and the password to access this sending server. Once you've got your server settings figured out, the next thing is your location of your articles and the post schedule. And this user interface is exactly the same as the one in the upload poster. So the first thing you need is the location of your articles on your hard drive. So here's one I prepared earlier. Here you set the name of the task. And then now we have the schedule settings. So the first one is the date of the first email that should be sent. So we're going to start with yesterday so that we can see the task catch up and actually send some emails. You can select how many posts you want per day. And for this example, we're doing one post a day. You can also select the number of days between posts and this can be dragged up up to 31 to 30 days. I'm going to leave it down to one. Now the next most important part of this UI is the post preview. So now it's showing me it's found three files that are waiting to be scheduled for posting. And on the first section is your drop down where you can select what the title of your article should be. By default, it's going to look for the H1 tag in your article and select that as a title. You have other options as well. If you select an option where there is no title, it will display this orange warning label for you. I'm going to leave it as H1. And next we have the detected body of the article. And of course, we have the preview schedule date. Once I have the sending server, the article location, and the article details sorted out, the final thing we need to do is select the destination of our articles. So this means selecting emails. So in this example, we just have it sending to the SEO content machine inbox. However, this email will be the email that's specified in your WordPress settings. So in WordPress, there is a menu setting which tells you the email inbox you can send to to have posts uploaded. Blogger also has a similar setting which you need to find. So to add these emails, what you want to go to is the edit add emails button. When you click on that, you have the opportunity to enter the email address. And if you need to group your emails, you can also add a group tag. If you don't need it, just click on add and that adds another email. So now we go back to selection and we have all our emails listed and every time we click on an email you see it gets highlighted in blue and the number selected count also is displayed on your confirm box. You can always filter out your emails to make it easier to find the emails you want to post to. If you are using the group feature you can also type in the group name to only find emails belonging to that group. So I want to confirm my selection and I can click on run to get the task scheduled. Now before I run this task, just a little explanation that it says run every 15 minutes and the reason why is this task is set to auto run until you stop it. And the reason for this is that we can't send all our emails at once and have them appear at a scheduled date. So instead the scheduling needs to be done internally by SEO Content Machine. So as long as you have SEM Next running in the background on your computer, it's going to check every 15 minutes for posts that are scheduled to be sent 
as senders as required. Once I'm happy with all my settings, I click on the Run button. I'm going to click on the name of my task. And by looking at the task log, I can look at exactly what steps is being taken by the running job. So the first thing is because it's a new task, it's creating a post list and it's found that the first two posts that were scheduled by the 26th and 27th of April. So today is now the 27th and it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So post one has been set. Post two, which had to appear in the morning because it's past the scheduled date, it's also been set. But post three isn't meant to come live until the 28th of April, seven in the morning. So that's obviously going to be scheduled for another time. If you have any questions about this task, feel free to send me an email, info, at seocontentmachine.com